Hi there! This is a tutorial showing how easy it is to build a raw bridge like this using the Bridgemaster Unity asset. Open the tutorial scene that comes in the package, right click on the hierarchy panel and choose Bridge. The Bridgemaster component on the created game object provides four separate pages on the inspector panel. First, we need a plank prefab that the bridge can populate along the z-axis, though to let the bridge understand how to connect the planks to each other, we need to do something with that prefab. As the planks are moved by the physics, put a rigid body component on it and use the following settings so we can achieve a fairly stable construction. And now comes the important part. We need to put a plank connections component on the prefab. After pressing the edit button, it gives us a few points we can align to its shape, so the ropes will attach to the right points on the mesh. The isometric view makes this process much easier. In this example, I put the plank ropes under the planks and the support ropes will connect the top face to the guide rope. Please note how the color coding helps to see the relationship between the properties on the inspector panel and the connection handlers in the same view. Now, as we added this component to the plank, Bridgemaster accepts it as a bridge element. Oh yeah, with the preview panel we can see the construction from a side. Okay, let's find the final position over the valley. Then find the number of planks that serves well to create a smoothly walkable surface area or just makes the bridge look good enough, whichever the goal is. Cool, we already have a working structure, but the ropes are still missing. For that, the bridge asks for another prefab, one that has a configured line renderer on it. This object will serve as a reference. Bridgemaster clones its settings for all the plank ropes that are instantiated in the bridge. That's it. The other fundamental parts of a bridge are the towers, so let's add one. To use a prefab as a tower, we do similarly as we did with the planks, but this time we don't need a rigid body because they won't move at all. Just add the tower connections component and let's edit connection points. The green one with the arrow is for the stay cables, but in this simple construction we won't use that for now. The red defines the position of the guide ropes that connect the towers to each other, while this one is for the plank anchoring ropes. Even though it's not that important to separate the connection points to the two sides of such a thin tower, the result will be a bit more appealing, in my opinion. It's worth a few extra seconds. Alright, let's add them to our bridge. Just drag and drop it to the related property and move it towards the rear side. We can do so by using the attached handlers or for more accurate positions the value of the normalized position property can be changed directly. Of course, we need another tower on the front side as well. We are almost there. So let's connect the two towers to each other with a guide rope. For that, just drop the rope prefab on it and tell it which two towers it should connect. Now 
Now hang the planks on this guide rope using support ropes. The topology of the connections can be easily modified by changing the number of segments in the guide rope. And here we are, let's see what we have done. Bridgemaster comes with a script in the package called Scene Controller that helps you to test the construction in a very convenient way. Just enable the object and run the scene. Use the Alt and Ctrl keys to drop test objects onto the bridge and with the comma and period keys you can drive the so-called crawler along so you can see if you like the result. We can also tie the planks to the towers to achieve a more lifelike scenario. First, uncheck the fixed edges, prevent rolling and set the plank ropes to use double nodes. Then go to the towers and enable the plank anchoring ropes. With these options, the planks will be connected to the towers, not just visually, but using joints it makes the whole bridge stable even under load. Finally, let's add some curves to the guide rope and the planks using the standard curve editor. As you can see, the changed curve is applied to the bridge immediately, so the results can be checked on the fly. So let's go back to the planks and do the same, to get a nice curved rope bridge. Don't forget to check the tooltips on the properties, there's a plenty of further information in basically all of them. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, so you know when a new video has come out. Thanks for watching, take care.